Hi, my name is Numan Karaslan and I want to introduce you my project Real-Time Image Processing. Now, I will jump into the program right now, but there will be important information at the end of the video. Real-Time Image Processing is about combining multiple operations on a real-time basis with some sequence. Now, I will select four operations to be applied and right now the program has two different language options. Turkish and English. I'm going to select English. This is the main window of the program. You see left corner is the resolution information if you want to fetch webcam or you can simply fetch a video file. After the selection video starts playing and here you can see resolution information and frames per second. You can stretch this window like this. And as you can see here, four different, different operations are ready to be applied. Now I will quickly go over these operations, filters or effects, but most of them are easy to understand. They will not need any explanation like edge, de edge detection here. Simply detects edges for any object. Next one, grayscale creates a gray level image. The next one, binary image creates black and white image. Negative colors inverts the red, green and blue channels. You know, a pixel is a combination of red, green and blue values. Dilation and erosion is not going to do much effect on this colorful image because they are mostly useful on black and white images. So I will skip them, but you can find information on the in internet about these two. Degradation is something like a contrast. It increases the red, green, blue values if they are higher than 128 or decreases if lower than 128. This effect is a multi-threaded effect. It is pixel based. So the workload of this effect should be distributed across your CPU cores. The next one is contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization. This one is an advanced image processing concept. Basically eliminates the lighting differences across the image and creates this smooth grayscale image. This has two different parameters, but you need to read some kind of manual to fully understand what this effect is doing. Blur simply blurs out the picture. Now ghost effect creates this ghostly effect on moving objects because this operation is adding last 15 frames on top of each other with different weights. So this is actually a weighted adding process. Cropping colors means setting minimum and maximum thresholds for red, green, blue channels. So if I enter these values, as you can see, the dark colors became brighter and bright colors became darker. Next one, brightness can be increased or decreased. Next one, contrast, just like brightness, increased or decreased. Fixing RGB is about fixing red, green or blue values of every pixel on the image. If I leave all of them blank, they will all be ignored. They won't change, but if I enter 50 here, all the blue values of the image of the video will be set to 50 so the red and green red and green colors will be more significant over the image you can set all different channels if you like if you set all of them to one single value it will be a solid color next one changing rgb values is about increasing or decreasing red green blue channels so 0, 0, 0 means you're not going to change anything. But if I enter 50 right now, 
blue colors will be increased with 50 so the image got bluer or otherwise I, I can enter minus so it will decrease the blue colors over the image negatives are allowed the last one is convolution this one is another advanced image processing concept but I can show you what it's capable of if I enter these values here this will be a vertical edge detector as you can see here or if I put these values as you can guess this will be a horizontal edge detector so briefly this convolution kernel is traveling across the image and for every pixel the center pixel is being summed with the multiplication of the neighboring pixels with these values it's a bit complicated you need to read some kind of manual for this too so these are all the operations you can apply in this program but as I said in the beginning the idea is to combine them to create new ones so let me show you my favorite it's grayscale and edge detection and negative colors it creates this cool effect but cropping colors is also helpful decreasing the noise so I have prepared my operation sequence and now let me show you these buttons here save image button saves the actually captures this image instant image directly to your desktop with date and time information save operations button saves these operation sequence with their corresponding values and order to your desktop with date and time values the CFG file and now before I load the operations I wanna emphasize the importance of the sequence so reset button here reverts everything back to normal and right now let's apply binary image and before binary image let's increase the brightness you can see there are more white colors in the picture because I have increased the brightness before applying the binary image so the threshold gets higher but if I apply brightness after binary image conversion it doesn't change any black and white it's just increasing the black values to some kind of gray level so as you can see the sequence the order is crucial for your experiment now let's load the old operations which I have saved previously on the desktop the CFG file the operations will be loaded and applied with their corresponding values the same sequence and it will be applied instantly and the question mark here is explaining a little bit more detailed about the effects the filters you can have you can read this and basically this is all about this program it's about combining different operations on top of each other and saving them and loading them so this project this project is this project is open source you can find github link in the description this project requires java version 8 and opencv 3.1.0 to be downloaded and configured on your computer you can simply download the jar file the link is in the description or if you have a development environment like NetBeans or Eclipse you can clone the github project if you have any ideas any suggestions if you encounter any problems or if you find any bugs you can always leave a comment comments are appreciated if I make any changes on the program 
after releasing this video, I will write them down in the description area so you can follow up on what's going on. And finally, don't forget to check out my Ant Algorithm Simulator. That is another project of mine. The link is also in the description. And thank you for watching.